Um, do you know Jesus Christ? <laughs> Jed needed beer. It was late, and we had driven by three closed liquor stores. I had a sore throat. I said we should just go to the Walgreens near his apartment. Really? Can't buy beer at Walgreens? <laughs> he had lived in Oakland for five months and hadn't learned that you could find alcohol anywhere, anytime. <laughs> Beer, weed, girls, they usually appeared for Jed just as he wanted one or all. He hadn't had to hunt before. When I told him that most drugstores in the state sold booze, he smiled at me like I made the law in California. <laughs> I was tired of driving around and just wanted cough drops. When we walked into the drugstore, I pointed at the back aisle, marked beverages, and walked uh, toward it at a good pace. I felt sick and was over the adventure of searching all over Oakland for his stupid beer. A girl with a tongue ring and a blue Walgreens smock told us the Walgreens didn't sell beer. Jed asked where they did. She told us about a convenience store about half a mile away. He wanted to go right then. I pulled the flask of whiskey from my bag and handed it to him. He was a puppy, docile when occupied. <laughs> I located the cough drops and finding that Jed had wandered, wished they sold over-the-counter Adderall. I found him bouncing a small pink ball. He rolled it up and down my back. It felt nice. It had nubs on it and relaxed me. <laughs> He liked the ball, and we both knew I would buy it for him. He never had any money, but the ball was probably like $2, and I liked the nubs. <laughs> we knocked into each other with our shoulders like little kids till we got to the checker and dropped our stuff on the counter. Two bags of cough drops and the ball. And I had picked up a bag of pink and white marshmallows a chunky candy bar, and a pack of Hostess cupcakes along the way, all labeled in Spanish. PMS is spelled the same in Spanish. <laughs> I grabbed a can of Red Bull from the case at the end of the aisle. I hoped it might chill him out like a hyper kid on speed. I was broke too, but I got some cash from my parents when I needed it and was okay being out of work for a while longer. When we walked in, I noticed the sign that said they took food stamps. That day, instead of looking for a job, I had researched whether I could get food stamps <laughs> and found out that I could. I didn't bother telling Jed, you can't buy booze with food stamps. I printed the forms and made an appointment. I was excited for a couple of hours. The steak is like $200 of free food every month. Then I was embarrassed at the thought of being on food stamps, even though they give you a credit card thingy so you're not stigmatized or traumatized or whatever uh, when you use the card. <laughs> then I felt bad because I'm just an unemployed college graduate with a family that can afford to give me money. And I had considered taking food from genuinely needy people's mouths. I threw out the forms. When we got to the loan checkout stand, the elderly worker was talking to another older woman who sat in a folding chair with a walker nearby. Jed and I were bickering because he thought the ball might be losing air. And I told him to go get another and find out the price, and the woman in the folding chair asked if we were married. <laughs> we're 23. Married? We don't live in Appalachia or whatever. <laughs> he said no, sounding all horrified, like being married to me was probably the worst thing he could ever think of. <laughs> I said, not yet, but we're engaged. <laughs> Punched him in the arm, telling him he should be saving for the ring, not buying balls. <laughs> he kept the pink ball. I paid and we headed out. We were almost to the door when the woman in the folding chair summoned us back. Hey, hey, come here a second, I wanna ask you something. I thought it would be about our engagement and started thinking up more lies. Do you know Jesus Christ? 
Jed laid on his Alabama accent, the one he uses to charm girls in and out of his bed, and said, yes ma'am, I have heard of our Lord Jesus Christ. She smiled and patted his arm. Then you know that he loves you, even though you're a sinner. <laughs> yes ma'am, I do know that. He gave her a big smile. She patted his arm again. <laughs> Even though he can't sit still for two minutes, Jed is really good at telling people what they want to hear. He usually even means it when he says it. She looked at me. I don't have a southern accent. I've heard of him. It was the wrong thing to say. <laughs> I'm not that good at that kind of stuff. Honey, Jesus Christ loves you. He loves everyone. I looked at her face, caked with makeup, and what looked to be false eyelashes. I wondered why these Jesus Christ women liked makeup so much. It looked like it might make her face feel heavy, like Jesus Christ might need to support her chin or something. <laughs> I liked her false eyelashes. I wanted some. Uh, Jesus Christ sounds like a very nice person. Hang on, I want to buy something else. When I found the makeup aisle, I picked out the longest, blackest stick-on false eyelashes I could find. Jed walked up behind me and lifted me off the floor in a bear hug. Put me down, asshole. <laughs> it was a look hot on you when you go to church to see Jesus Christ. <laughs> ha. That was the way we flirted. Everyone said we'd get married one day. That was a long time from now. I went to pay, and he went to thank the girl with the tongue ring for her suggestions about where to find beer. When he came back, she was with him, smock off, wearing a tank top that said, Jesus was a hottie. <laughs> I asked her where she got it. Her name was Lark. The Jesus Christ lady wanted to talk to us more about Jesus Christ, but Jed hustled Lark and me out the door, sacrificing himself for a few seconds to let the Jesus Christ lady know that he heard her. Lark and I traded sips from my flask. We watched him smile, brush his longish brown hair out of his face, and bend his lanky frame to hug the Jesus Christ lady. Lark and I walked toward the car. We went to the convenience store and bought beer. Jed and Lark started to make out by the refrigerator, and I talked to a cute guy and watched the lonely hot dogs move slowly around the cooker. <laughs> he asked if I wanted one. I said no thanks and gave him my number. <laughs> I paid for the six pack and some barbecue flavored chips and got Jed and Lark to the car. When we got to Jed's house, they asked me to stay and smoke a bowl, have a few beers. I almost did, just to piss Jed off. But I had a sore throat and PMS supplies and had seen how this worked too many times for it to be interesting anymore. I went home, put on my false eyelashes, ate some marshmallows, and answered a text from the cute hot dog guy. <laughs> Then I went online, ordered a Jesus Christ was a hottie tank top, <laughs> and emailed my dad to ask for rent money. Oh. Yeah.